IT tip of the day. Port numbers. Let's talk about them. Your Security Plus, you're going to have to remember a lot of port numbers. Um, but you're going to want to do a lot of the common ones. So you're going to have to remember them both ways. So they're going to talk about the port number and what it's associated with, like the name. And they're going to say, oh, HTTPS is formally known as what port? 443. HTTP, 80. You know, hey, what port does remote desktop use? 3389. And then it could ask you, if somebody's accessing your network on port 22, what protocol are they using? SSH. So you need to remember them both ways. So when you're doing quizzes and stuff like that, make sure you do it like get a list of port numbers, do the protocol, and then do a list of protocols, give the port number. Make sure you know them back and forth. Think of port numbers as apartment building numbers. Like your IP address is going to get you to the address, but then the port number or the apartment building number is going to tell you what door to knock on, essentially. So try to keep that in your brain when you're going through and learning this stuff. So remember, learning your port numbers back and forth by the name and by the port, and you'll be successful.